Uh, so I'm gonna start doing show vlogs. I have two shows in Miami on Saturday. Today is Friday, December 11th. I have two shows in Miami, Saturday, December 12th. I'm driving down to Boca Raton today uh, to stay with a friend from 94, so I don't have like a five hour drive tomorrow. Before I hit the road, I stopped at my favorite taco place in Orlando, Gringo's Locos, and I'm just chilling with my homies here. I don't know why, there are just wild peafowl in Orlando. But this isn't the first one that I've seen. <laughs> sure as hell won't be the last one. I don't know where they live. The trees, maybe? I'm not, this is, I'm right outside of downtown. There's no, I'm gonna name him Henry. Henry the peafowl. I guess technically he's a peacock, but like in a group, the, the gender neutral term is peafowl. Peahen and peacock together make peafowl. <clears throat> I don't know why I know this either. All right, so I, I made it to Villain Theater. This is the, the green room tour. Hello, Hi. friends. Yeah, Hello, friends. It's, it's like, sometimes you go to like comedy clubs and stuff and they got like comics hang on the wall. <laughs> Not, not really. We got like Oprah Winfrey over there. We got Maya Angelou up here. It's a long list of different ways to say vagina in Spanish. <laughs> so. Put your favorite in the comments. Yeah, yeah, comment, comment your favorite. Uh, some of these are just actual words. 26, coquito. <laughs> That's not anything. All right, made it to Miami. Uh, just got done with the first show. I'm backstage. My boy Chris Renoir, he been living with his parents. Ah, so cute. At 23. At, uh, he's not paying any rent though. We're all a little yeah, jealous. Right. Uh, right. Not like the rest of us have been paying rent for the past eight months anyway, but. That's too damn bad. Hey, first show, how'd you do? Great, man. How great. do you feel? Oh man, I felt great. That's nice. It's been a minute since I've done a show like, like this. So seeing all your people out, man, it was a good time. We got uh, show number two is happening right now. We're on, we're on a little bit, but uh, we've been told it's a little bit more packed, <laughs> as packed as they're letting it get. All the tables are, it's pretty spaced out. Mm -hmm. um, so first show is success. Uh, second show coming up. When I was a teenager, I did talent shows at my school. And like you doing a talent show in front of everybody that knows you, you gonna do great, right? Yeah. So I'm doing great. But then I did my first real open mic. Like, nobody knows me. 18 years old, right? At some place in Miami. And I remember I bombed. <laughs> Terribly. Oh, yeah. Terribly. Nobody right? does well there. <laughs> right? And my friend took me there, too. And so he saw it. And I was just like, damn, this sucks. <laughs> so he drives me back home. And for like the first hour, two hours, I'm like, damn, I bombed. I can't believe it. What, what, what? But then after like two hours here, I was like, I'm a real comedian. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a real I remember watching all these videos that said, man, I bombed, I bombed, I bombed. And, and now I have my bomb story. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm good, man. That was what it was for you? Yeah, I was like, damn, I'm okay. I don't know, I mean, some people are like, I'm not a real comedian until like my first book paid yeah, gig. Nah, and you're like, like, I bombed, I'm I, in. I had to eat shit for me to know that this is my career. You and you did it immediately, everyone does. Yeah, I know, but it's just like, <laughs> damn, bro, like, it's good to have that much, like, of a good perspective on things, right? Mm -hmm. Like, at the time, you could, you know what I'm saying, feel bad, but then after a while, you just gotta look back at it and be like, it's I just did like, it It's the perfect level of delusion. Yeah. You're like, it just, because you know very well mm -hmm. that didn't go well. At but all. there's a part of you that's like, but did it? Oh, well, yeah, exactly. But maybe it did. There's a spark there, you know what I mean? I should do this again. I should, but I'm not gonna lie, it took me about a year to get back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But when I did... <laughs> I bombed again. <laughs> <laughs> Things didn't get better. I, yeah, I bombed again. I remember I was at UCF and I bombed again, but I felt the same way. I was just like, I know I bombed, but I feel like there's something there. <laughs> but you know, you know what? I felt. Yeah, I felt good about that. You know what I mean? And now look at you. Bombing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pretty good, man. It's pretty good now. But it, you definitely have to go through those to know that, you know what I'm saying, if you really love it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or, I mean, like, if you're just that delusional. Yeah, I know. Oh, those a lot people, of people are fun to watch. They are fun to watch and listen to, too, right? <laughs> like, I think I'm getting better. It's like, no, no you're not. not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Wait, whatever. Just finished the second show. It was fun. Uh, John, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry, but 
it was fun. All right, I'm on my way home from the shows in Miami and I stopped at a service plaza on, tur on the turnpike and I went in to eat and I noticed that the sign over the women's restroom the W had either fallen off or faded completely. So it just said Omen. And I'm not sitting here trying to tell you that that was on purpose, but what I will tell you is that nobody's fixed it yet. So someone believes it. I'm home. I made it home. I made it in time to watch the second half of the Eagles game. I watched like most of the first half too, but I'm gonna watch the second half of the Eagles game and eat food and take a nap. Tomorrow I have a show in Orlando. Uh, it's the annual toy drive comedy show. It's a whole showcase of uh, comedians in Orlando, and we just raise, you know, toys for the community. Um, and then I leave on Tuesday again for Kansas City. So, more show vlogs to come. Thanks for sticking with me.